Well, good morning. This is Saturday morning, August 22nd. It's hard to believe that classes start on Monday, and I'm looking forward to being with you all semester long. We're going to have a good time. Uh, we've had a technology glitch already, and we're not going to have any virtual sessions. I'm sorry about that. They can be a lot of fun. They're also labor intensive, and it's difficult to get everybody together, so this is going to work out just as well. Uh, this is a mini lecture to kind of walk you through the course. You'll be getting lots of these throughout the semester. You're going to hear and see from me very, very frequently, so don't be dismayed that there are no virtual class sessions. This just means you get to do all this, uh, you know, listening to me and hearing my comments and stuff, hearing my remarks about the course content uh, at your own leisure. You know, you can do it late at night or in the morning in your pajamas, whatever, okay? So you'll be in good shape. This is, this is a lot of fun. Um, what I want to do is walk you very quickly through the uh, class, the sort of the features of it, the way Blackboard is going to work for you in, in the way this class actually unfolds. I'd like to point out that everything is very sequenced in the class, and you'll get a very, very good grade if you do everything on time and do it thoroughly, okay? You cannot skip assignments. Uh, the late penalty is very draconian. You can't be late, and you have to keep up. That's important, all right? So if you do the work and keep up, you're going to get the grade. There's no problem. I'm a fair grader. I'm a good teacher. Uh, you're going to enjoy this, all right? But you have to stay up with the content. You have to turn your work on time. You have to do the work. But then you're going to be fine, okay? Uh, what you see when you look at Blackboard, and I think you obviously probably have your Blackboard uh, homepage open to this class. Uh, you see four folders. You see the welcome folder, which you've already been into to you know, operate this uh, welcome lecture. This folder is very important. It has your syllabus in it. It has a syllabus quiz, which is very important. Uh, it has a description of the major writing assignments, which is kind of cool. Uh, it has the class calendar. It tells you exactly when the due dates are. Then it has a little uh, item about what's called the writer's memo. This is very important. It gives you some metacognition skills about reflecting on your own writing. And then there's a rubric. It tells you what I'll, how I'll be grading your papers, all right? So this is very important information here. Please acquaint yourself with the syllabus, and please take the syllabus quiz right away. The uh, late penalty is very firm and very draconian, very drop-dead. There's a reason for that. Don't be late. Internet classes are not easy. They're hard, all right? There's a lot to look at. But if you stick with it and, and ask me questions, you'll do just fine. Don't ever hesitate to get in touch with me. I read my email uh, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. You can also call me during those time periods. Don't call after 5, please, and never, ever even think about calling on the weekend. Don't do that, all right? Uh, it's very important that you get your work done during the week and that you get any questions resolved during the week. You know, if you want to wait till Sunday night to write your essays, that's fine, but don't be thinking you're going to be asking me questions at that point. Uh, get into the course early, get into the course often each week, okay? So the welcome folder is where you start and kind of get uh, uh, acquainted to the class, okay? The most important folder is over here on the right. It's called learning units. This class is divided into uh, four units. first unit is called the rhetorical situation. Uh, begins, uh, obviously, on Monday. It goes all the way through Sunday, September 22nd. Uh, then the second unit is introduction to analysis. Analysis is a big part of your college life. It's a big part of your job life. You analyze, you know, you analyze things that are around you, so we spend a lot of time on that. That unit begins near the end of September and goes all the way to the middle of October. Then the uh, final uh, unit itself, major unit, is called presenting arguments. That's your research paper, and that begins in the middle of October and goes all the way to the end of November. And then we have revision, the power of revision. You get to revise all your work for better grade, and that's what you turn in at the end of the semester. So then if you actually go into one of these learning units, obviously you go to the first one. I call them learning modules. All right, and it's a module because it has all your work in it. Everything you need to know about this class for any particular week, any particular unit is in this module, all right? On the left, you'll see a uh, table of contents. Uh, the first item of the table of contents, which automatically opens up, is a overview for the unit. It kind of tells you what's coming. It tells you what the goals are. It tells you what I expect from you, that kind of thing. Then the next thing you always see is the readings. What do you have to read? Then the next thing you always see are the lectures. Sometimes this menu on the left is a little narrow. You can uh, drag it to the right. You'll find just mouse over it. You'll find a place where you just kind of drag the whole menu to the right. It gets wider, okay? So you always see a group of lectures. Then you see class discussions. And then you see whatever it is you have to turn in, all right, for the, uh, uh, that unit. Okay, this particular, most units have quizzes at the end of them, all right? They have short quizzes. Uh, they do count for your grade, all right, but they're fun. They're kind of interactive. Um, some of these items are kind of compressed, so make sure that if you see a plus sign beside an item, make sure you click on that plus sign so that will spread out all the individual items in it. So you can always expect to have lectures. You can always expect to have class discussion. This uh, class is very much driven by the class discussions. 
They, uh, the class discussions, their purpose is to uh, help you with critical thinking. Critical thinking is very important for you as a student, for you as an employee, for you as a family member, and for you as a citizen, all right? You need to learn to think on your own, and that's what critical thinking is. And this class teaches that, stresses that a lot. And then the discussions also help build classroom community, and then they help you also uh, think about specific topics related to your, uh, your projects during that unit, okay? So please make sure you're thoroughly uh, acquainted with the table of contents for each unit. Go into there very often. That's where all your work is, all your reading is. It's very, very important that you spend a lot of time with this table of contents. If you just click on each link in order, all right, the class just unfolds in order. It'd be just like going to class during the week. Your instructor would say, do this, this, and this. The same way with this table of contents on the left. Just go right through it, click on each link, and it'll take you directly to the work. Okay, going back to the uh, home page and looking at the folders. The folder called class participation in the bottom left there is actually a duplication of some of the elements in the learning units. It's actually a duplication of the uh, discussion features. So uh, this class participation folder and the learning unit folder are actually directly linked, all right? Um, you open that up, and what you see is kind of explanation of what you have to do to get your full class participation grade, which is very, very important, 20% of your total grade, okay? And then you'll see, uh, you can click on the Unit 1 class participation, and it actually lists out all the discussions for that unit. So this is one place to go, and you can look at all of the discussions at one time, all right? And you can even see their due dates. The due dates are very firm. I grade right at the end of the due date and at the end of it, right after it. And if you've not gotten your discussion posting in by then, you, you, you know, you're going to get a poor grade there, okay? Um, that said, let me briefly go back to the home page. There's a couple other folders there. There's one other folder. There's one called Class Resources. If you're kind of lost about something, all right, go into the Class Resources folder and um, look for, you know, there's help navigating Blackboard. There's help with Helmkey Library. There's um, uh, details about an extra credit feature that will be coming on later in the class. And there's also help there with listening to my podcast. You're going to hear more podcasts from me. This is called a vodcast. I just wanted to kind of introduce you to myself personally. All right. Speaking of which, I've taught this course for uh, at least nine years, eight years online. All right. I love teaching it. And I just absolutely assure you that you'll do very well in the class if you do the work. And that means you have to get in there in, into the Blackboard early in the week, and you have to get in there frequently, and you have to stay current with your work and turn it in on time. That's not rocket science. This is the hallmark of a good uh, student, hallmark of a good employee. You know, show up on time. It's that simple. All right. So, hey, enjoy. If you have questions, email me through Blackboard, please, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Uh, I'll respond. Excuse me. Email me Monday through Friday, and I'll respond just about any time, okay? If you email me on the weekend, you won't hear from me again until Monday, all right? So don't bother to email me on the weekend. Get your questions resolved before the weekend, please, all right? So, hey, enjoy. Uh, you're going you're gonna to like the class. You really are. Trust me.